Alright, what is up YouTube and welcome back to another video, man. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing this concept of life setup. There's this concept, right, when it comes to a successful life that many of us were taught growing up where a successful life consists of a wife, a kid, a nice fenced backyard, beautiful family, you know, raising your kids, right? This American dream life setup where you have a wife at home, maybe taking care of the kids, and then the dad goes to work, provides the income, majority of the income comes back, happy wife, happy life, happy family life, especially in a country in America, right? And in a way, you can kind of call this the American dream. However, I just think it's such an outdated way of thinking about life. Nowadays, when you look at the dating market, right? You look at just how difficult, you know, it is. And I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you like all these, you know, all these dating coaches out there telling you things like, oh, just simply approach a hundred girls a day, bro. You know, female nature is not that bad. And the thing is, for the longest time, I used to preach this stuff too. On, oh, people are just making excuses again and again. They're not socializing more. They're not going out, touching grass, talking to, you know, 50 women every single day. And, oh, female nature... Don't worry. And to a certain extent, that is true. I think people could definitely be socializing more, get out of their comfort zone. However, just the way the dating scene has shifted for the past decade, right? It's no longer become an issue of have I approached enough women? Have I done enough cold approach? It's more so just the priorities that a lot of women are valuing are just becoming so different than what it used to be. You see, with all this modern day talk of how women now don't need a man in their life, how they're a boss girl, you go girl, you don't need no man in your life, you can figure it out. And you look at this deeper with men, right? And to a certain degree, you know, I think a lot of women themselves really have themselves to kind of blame when it comes to the rise, I guess, of toxic masculinity because of just this constant battle between women and men back and forth on who's right, who's wrong, feminism versus masculinity and the red pill and dating and what a woman deserves, what she needs and just all these flawed expectations really on both sides, you know? Women, six foot, six packs, six figures. Men with, oh, housewife, traditional values. It's just this constant battle back and forth between two sides. I think it'll just get worse if I'm being completely honest as time goes on. And as a result, this traditional life setup of the happy family, raising kids with the picket fence and the dog in the backyard, the American dream, right? I think it's just slowly going to phase its way out. And I'll admit, I really think dating can be very mentally exhausting for a lot of men out there with all the reasons I just explained, right? Woman's expectations, a woman vibing with you and then out of nowhere calling it quits because her friend saw some crazy thing you posted years ago on social media that you don't even abide by anymore. You could literally check every box, six foot, phenomenal shape, six figures. And it's just like one little thing could trigger the woman and then she could just leave your life, end the relationship, end the dating right then and there. It kind of makes you wonder, you know, about how much is this life setup, this happy go, happy life setup, is it even worth it? Is the traditional American dream 
really even worth it and really when you look at the dating scene right now if you haven't vetted the woman carefully you're really putting yourself at risk at supreme risk and it's not just you know the what the woman's standards are it's just nowadays every little thing could get you in trouble if you're not careful man you could seriously get in trouble you know all these men still out there engaged in hookup culture you have no idea what this woman's really thinking in her mind she could literally screw your entire life over right she could literally make some type of accusation against you that never happened at all and that would literally f your entire life up you know these are things that a lot of these guys don't think through when they're engraved in chasing women all the time hookup culture, dating, getting into even long-term relationships with a woman, you think about it, is that mental exhaustion at the back of your head, right? Her treating you like crap, her potentially me tooing you for something that never happened, her just mentally exhausting you, arguments, her saying that you don't give her enough attention, just the overall mental exhaustion, is that really worth it? Is it really all worth it towards that traditional life setup? You know, I look at life in general, and if you're an ambitious person who has goals, who's chasing success, is dedicated to whatever skill set you're doing, loves what you're doing, wouldn't it just be easier to continue riding that, that dopamine high of doing what you're doing, providing value, loving the value you're giving, loving your hobbies, your interests, that passion, that ambition, the goals you have? The way I see it is having a single, and I guess you could call it the single lifestyle, right? With a much healthier focus, I just think nowadays especially in the modern day era is much more productive much more mentally healthy than being in an abusive relationship than chasing women than dating a girl who's mentally abusive who's treating you like shit you see the con the traditional life setup i think is really going to get phased out over time and it's tough, I think, definitely for a lot of South Asians as well, because when you look at life setup, right? South Asian culture, one of the priorities as you get older is to settle down and get married and raise a family. Your mom or your dad or your family wants you to just get married, focus, focus on getting married, focus on settling down with the woman. And it's tough for a lot of South Asians because that's what happens a lot. Your parents, your family wants you to find that wife quicker, sooner rather than later. I see it, right? With a lot of my other friends who are Indian, Pakistani, I've seen them get into these relationships and it's crazy to think about. I've seen them getting married every time they're away from their spouse, every time they're away from their wife. It's like they become this completely new person. It's like they go back to what they used to be. They'll go out to like a bar or a, go travel and it's still back to the old habits of, you know, still talking to women. And it's crazy to think these are people, guys, that have settled down. These are people that are in relationships, engaged, right, that have their wife back home. And yet deep down, they're still not satisfied. They're still talking to other girls when they go on trips, never truly satisfied with the relationship pressured by his south asian parents to get married early feel bad for your own culture because a lot of times you know certain cultures prioritize certain things over other things and in south asian culture it's tough because i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate if you're in your 20s right if you're in your 30s maybe early 30s even the pressure just gets harder and harder for you from your family and you might not even want to get married but as time goes on you get the pressure of getting married the pressure of settling down the pressure of finding that person gets gets more and more elevated as the years goes on especially as a man and really as a south asian if you get to your early 30s and you're not settled down let alone married with a woman your culture your family 
they're gonna start looking at you like you're crazy. And for a lot of you guys who are South Asians, who are riding the high, who are very successful in your business or whatever you're doing to make money or just living your best life centered around you know, your business and yet you got, you know, all these cool other assets in your life going on. You know, it's tough because you kind of get into this split back and forth between you and your family. And my best advice, man, is, you know, you have to do what's best for yourself. And sometimes that means having not the best closest relationship with your family. Sometimes that might even mean your family might cut you off just because you don't do what's in their best interest. And it's tough, but at the end of the day, you have to follow what's best for your mental health, man. And again, it all goes back to life setup, that traditional view of life setup. Happy wife, happy life, picket fence with kids running around, that you being the father figure of a household. I just think, you know, as time goes on for many people, that American dream isn't going to become a dream anymore. That American dream, that Americanized lifestyle is going to phase out. I think more and more people are going to gravitate towards being single. And whether you're American, whether you're another race, whether you're South Asian Indian, if you're trying to get that traditional family, I really urge you to question yourself. Is this something that you truly want? Or is this something that you're pressured to from your parents. But I think, you know, you need to be realistic, evaluate your mental health for sure. Is this something that you really want? Because you just never know, right? Putting, you know, all those assets you've built over the years, the money you've gained, putting it all on risk, especially if you don't get a prenup, having a girl mentally exhaust you all of a sudden, after all those years of happiness you have, you working so hard as a man to develop you know, and gain all those assets that you have in your life, the success, the money, you know, just the successful business, the happiness, the things you can do. Is it worth potentially sacrificing a bunch of things all just for a woman to come and potentially just ruin it all? That's why for those of you guys who are wanting to get married, wanting to settle down sooner, rather than later, I urge you to really vet out this person that you're going all in on, man, and urge you to really look within yourself. Is this traditional life setup? Is marriage, is settling down? Is this something that you truly want? Is this something that is truly making you happy? Or are you better off playing it single and not settling down, man? And it's harsh right? It's going to come with a lot of consequences. You know, your traditional parents, especially for those of you guys in other races, right? My South Asian homies out there, your parents wanting you to get married and them not fully understanding the modern day dating era as it is right now, how toxic it can be, how toxic it has become. Do whatever is best for your mental health, man. The traditional life setup can be very overrated and it just doesn't apply. I just don't see it applying. I see it kind of phasing out as time goes on, man. So anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on life setup. Let me know your thoughts below. Like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.